Ta-da! Hey everybody, it's Mike Vondruska with Mike's Mexico Adventures. I'm not in Mexico right now, I'm in Illinois at my house, but in this video I'd like to introduce to you what I call... <music> Monkeys in Mexico? I know. When you're thinking about Mexico, the images that usually pop into most people's minds are sun, sand, all-inclusive resorts, lots and lots of margaritas, tacos. As a side note, if you like tacos, when you're in Mexico, you will never go hungry because you can always find a taco stand night or day. Okay, I digress. Maybe also you think mariachis, the image in Mexico, or ancient ruin sites. But monkeys, not really. I mean, monkeys are for like Panama and Costa Rica and that, you know, people think down there, the Amazon. But you don't have to travel that far. You can go to Mexico. There are two states that I would recommend where you could see them. The first one, the state of Chiapas. Chiapas is great. It's a great state. You have uh, San Cristobal de las Casas there. You have like Palenque ruins and other ruins. It's really cool that's out of the way called Ponina. Also, there's a couple ruins that are right near the Guatemala border. Okay, because Chiapas and Guatemala, uh, they, they're, they're right against each other. Well, not really against each other. There's a river that divides them. It's called the Usamacinta River. You see, the Usamacinta River is the only way well, one of two ways that you can get to a ruin site called Yachitlan. After traveling from our jungle camp in the Lacandona jungle in Chiapas, Mexico, we took a 40-minute uh, ride to this river and got on a boat, and now we're on a river called the Usamacinta. This is an important river because it's a border river. On my left side, is Mexico, Chiapas, Mexico. And over here is the country of Guatemala. We are taking a 40-minute ride to the archaeological site called Yachitlan. So by boat, up the river, or in a small plane, landing in a grass field. That's it. Those are the only two ways to get there. But when you get there, it's a mystical place. Number one, because it's isolated. And number two is because it also has these tall trees and you can even hear the monkeys probably before you see them because they're jumping, they're playing from branch to branch and the branches are making noises and that makes it extra special to go there. That's where you can see monkeys, is in the uh, archaeological ruin site called Yachitlan. The second place is, a, is the state of Veracruz. I'm very familiar with Veracruz, lived there for a long time, back and forth from Veracruz to Illinois. And in the southern part of Veracruz is what's called the Los Tuxtlas area. It's a recognized world biosphere area. It's a tropical jungle, rainforest, hundreds of species of birds, and there's a big lake there. It's called Lake Catemaco. It's one of the largest lakes in all of Mexico, about the third or fourth largest. And in the lake, there are islands, little islands. And that's where the monkeys are. Right here. This guy's face right here. Holler monkeys, spider monkeys, that's where you're going to see them. So the only way to really see them then, again, is to either take one of the, the local launches or if you have a kayak, you can kayak out there and see them. And so those are the two places, Chiapas and Veracruz. So there you have it, monkeys in Mexico. So you don't have to go to Costa Rica, you don't have to go all the way down to Brazil and to the Amazon jungle to see monkeys. You just go to Mexico. It's a lot closer from the U.S. and Canada. It's 
tropical, jungly, rainforest, and monkeys. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like this video, then click the thumbs up. And if you want to stay in touch with future videos that I put out at least once a week, then click subscribe and stay on the list. No free bananas. Sorry. Hasta luego. Hey, Mike Fondrusco with Mike's Mexico Adventures. I'm not in Mexico at the time, at the moment. I wanted to share with you what I call Mexico's monkey, what I call Mexico monkey moments. These trees in the jungle are tall dudes. They're really tall dudes, that's for sure. Can you call trees dudes? I don't know, I just made that up. <laughs>